All right, guys. So today we're experimenting again with the colorful um, animal painting, only in oil pastels today. And honestly, I'd say I found it easier to, to use this colorful um, technique with oil pastels rather than with the acrylics. Because of course you need like, at the same time, lots of different colors. And then jumping in, in oil pastels, it's already kind of its technique when you when you paint with them. Um, but then you also always have like 10 of them in your hand. Uh, so it kind of makes, makes a bit sense. And acrylics, they are drying quick. So yeah, I thought this was actually the perfect, perfect one. So yes, let's start with sketch and then um, later we, we talk about a bit um, again, what, what shall we put attention for? So yes, very nice diagonal composition. Yes, so of course the neck, yes, we can check like, let's say where it's starting. So the upper corner, maybe a bit less goes up. And yeah, then the other one. Um, it's also maybe not too long, so we we'll leave a bit air above the head, so the head wouldn't kind of stick to the corner of the page. Um, yeah, then can kind of sketch where maybe the nose, the face would be. Yeah, so as usual, trying to avoid doing any details um, and just finding the correct position for, for everything. Yeah? So. yeah, also remember this technique comparing them uh, finding the points um, where they are horizontally and vertically. So let's say the uh, one eye, yeah, is exactly under the ear. But if I draw like the horizontal line, then I see the other eye that I see kind of bigger. It's a little bit higher. Yeah. So and chicken also like. In comparison, where it's has yeah, some other parts, so you know the procedure. Um, and then, of course, so here is this our very nice photo. Then um, let's say if you use Darren's photo to uh, to do the sketch, then of course it's very useful also to go checking at once which areas are the shadow ones yeah, and where we have the main lights. Yes, because we'll be similar a bit like last time with acrylics. So even if we choose some unexpected colors, uh, we still try to follow a bit this light and shadow yeah, division. So then Yeah. So then um, the painting doesn't look something like reverse or uh, yeah, like when what we can do sometimes with filters on the phone and then like it changes. Yeah, compare. So I did the sketch now. I see. Okay, I need a bit higher the forehead. Yeah. Can can also if needed can do the the measuring. Yes, the measuring is also very useful. Um, yes, and I would say you can, what, what we can measure. Uh, uh, we can measure how much, let's say the end of the face and the point where the, the noses are ending, how much it fits in the whole face. So how much part it's one, two, three, well, almost four, yeah, three and a half. So this is also how I can check like how high is my total. Yeah, well, more or less. And 
Yeah, and then also it's usually like at once you can like you go with the pencil and slowly marking the shadow parts, especially those ones who are obvious, you know, they're and then of course where is where is the biggest this shadow so uh, the half yeah of the face so the nose kind of goes you see the straight it's light and then all the side of the face including a big shadow on the neck yeah so we can actually straight away we can mark this neck yeah, and then again being as usually careful with all those yes yeah, so let's say this is this big shadow half of the face including also the the eye yes and going to the neck so all this is shadow and then of course inside i see okay here there are some white parts here are some gray some a bit lighter gray darker so and it would be good also to show this um, kind of detailing inside the shadow, but then it's usually being careful so then it's not jumping out. And yeah, and then it's usually the easy technique to check it. So with this photo works works really perfect. Yes, halfly closed eyes, and at once I see all this spot as uh, so here i will now kind of just go with my dark parts so when i halfly close my eyes and i see on the photo this is what i see i see this this area like one black one darker spot and then i already don't see all those details inside the shadow yeah so then when I move the eyes to my drawing, it should look similar. Huh? Yeah, then you can also decide how, um, how detailed you wanna do. So then of course there are lots of little different shades on the face you know um but this one one can also kind of do along the way with um, the pastels because yeah. we, we remember the pastels are very good and easy you can go on top so there is no such you know being careful oh i should leave the white area or um yeah in oil pastels, you can start from black, you can start from light. Um, and then if something went wrong, you just go on top. So I can go even with yellow on top of some darker and then, then it works, yeah? Or in some cases I can use even the palette knife to scratch a bit if it was too much. So here, my neck is a bit too thin. Let's make the giraffe a bit more serious guy. Yeah, the birdie, for example, here I have moved. Yeah, so on the picture, it's a bit lower just for the sake of composition. Yeah, so here on the photo, it's a bit, they're just a bit up. So, of course, as artists, we are allowed. Yeah, and yeah, I can't even imagine how Darren caught such shot with this birdie. Like, it was luck. I was saying that a lot of the giraffes. Those birds actually spend a lot of time on giraffes because they actually eat uh, insects which are on the giraffes and different about. Ah, here we go. Now it's here. And then, of course, we can mark, let's say, spots. Yeah, so if you're unsure that you can do really the spots like free straight with the with all pastels and of course, just kind of mark a bit the, those shape and, and it's always the, the best way. Like if I would start it now, imagining 
giraffe spots from my head. I would, I don't know, uh, yes, they wouldn't look as natural. So it's always the best just to look how nature created and it will be the most like nice, organic and interesting way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and when you, when you start looking close, the spots of giraffe, they're so cool, you know, they have these, these borders, um, kind of. So good. Um, okay, the bush, maybe not so uh, important to sketch. Yeah, only maybe if just kind of, if you want, you can sketch maybe the proximate shape. Um, what I also was trying to experiment with the bush is, you know, when you use this method, when you paint the trees, but you actually paint spaces in between the branches. So kind of maybe just also a little bit similar to giraffe, you create some emptinesses. Yes, and then you go around them, but it can be also as experiment. Okay, let's see how, how it works. Hmm. Yeah, and clouds, okay. It's already the, let's say, probably the last thing not really needed. Uh, so here also have the um, pastel pencils. Of course, let's say black is practical because then you can get in the tiny details like eyes, the nose. Because of course the, the yeah the pastel stick, unless it's like uniquely new, yeah, then you can do the thin lines. But once of course it gets round and it's a bit harder. So here, for example, I have another box, and here I have some like nearly touch, and then when it's still cut it, then it's easy. You use the side to to create a line. Yeah. And, and then I also actually use these um, pastels also to sketch on the, to the sketch of giraffe. So kind of, then it, it's all pastels. Uh, but pencil is, is also nice. It doesn't seem to show through much. No? Uh, tell me, guys, Aaron, like, need more time for... I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Go. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> then let's go, let's go. Um, so I suggest we mark just those dark points, like, uh, let's say, the eye. Yeah, so the small part of eye, um, the left one that is showing the, on one side. Yeah, if you're still, let's say, not really sure if this is the like really light correct position, yeah, you can kind of maybe just generally, so not really, really precise, but let's say, okay, here are my eyes. So later you can also maybe remove them a bit. Yeah. So um, I suggest we also do a bit that shadow parts. We do a bit purple blue. Um, so maybe also like this part, I've chosen like the nose and the eyes to do black because I think it's, yeah, but one, like you can also experiment and do maybe blue. Yeah. Um, but also, anyway, we can. Um, Yeah, if one has wish, one can go later on top and change. No? But marking these kind of areas yeah, will help a bit to, to have this structure. Yeah, so I did also the, the ear a bit, this shadow. Yeah. But still a bit sketchy, so it's still not like I'm putting these black parts and it's the final ones. Yeah, it's more like 
I'm just starting uh, yeah, maybe also for for birdie yeah I can just mark so the body of the birdie I leave empty yeah we should go there with some very nice light yellow something so but maybe just like these these lines for tail um, wings and and the legs of birdie yeah but, um, just kind of because then it's black and it's like it's more the accent, and we also want to see all very visible. And and then as the second stage, I would go a bit working with um, so again light and shadows. Um, so let's say I'll go with some blue. Yeah, maybe it doesn't have to be the the darkest blue at the moment let's try how it looks yes but here yes or maybe purple also you can just kind of uh, check different ones so depending which blues you have and also depending how dark you have painted your paper yeah because it's also then gets the and again, I'm not doing the final, you know, touch. It's more still about defining, separating the, the, the areas. Yeah? So, yeah, and remember also that you can change just uh, very easily. So with the same oil pastel, so if I press a bit harder, then it straight away it becomes darker. So some areas, let's say, I'd go a bit lighter, yeah, just by using my old pastel, like lightly touching. And then if there is some area, then I can just by pressing a bit harder. Here you go, you get the. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Maybe also you like to do some outlines. Yeah, maybe for example, the mouth can have maybe some. Yeah, but here again, so either, yeah, like with the round oil pastel, you can do the line. It's only that first you kind of, when you put it to the paper, you check where it's leaving the line. Because then it's like, it's usually the where, where you want it. But in the end, it's touching maybe like two millimeters or like a bit to the side so like you check and then accordingly you can move it so the round pasta leaves the line exactly where you want and then you can also so we still, this is a bit like, let's say classical, but then to do again, something interesting, this um, colorful interpretation, you can think. So for example, here on this pre-drawing I did, also try to experiment with the spots, let's say. So, and then of course I did the spots darker, but some of them are violet, some a bit greenish, somewhere I was mixing maybe uh, blue and red. And then the neck still, of course, it's a bit orangey, because, yeah? okay, that's still like natural. Um, but you can think, yeah, maybe you want, because um, this is the space, let's say, to play with those um, colorful technique. Um, so I think if um, okay. and then also remember that in, in this colorful thing, it works really using unexpected colors in some areas. 
Yeah, so let's say exactly like green. Green matches very nicely. So um, last time when we did the, the cheetah, it was also a bit similar. So first it was like kind of, yes, matching general the colors of cheetah and then spontaneously getting in, let's say in the face with something green. There is no green, but in, in the drawing, it gives like very nice, fresh, fresh touch. No? Okay, once let's say the general shadow mark, then we can also focus a bit on the main um, light areas. So either I stay uh, more classical and I go with the orange. Yes, maybe I try a bit first yellow because yellow is brighter. So let's say, yes. Um, and again, so since the, the paper is pre-painted, so when I put yellow, it doesn't really look that bright. So what I should do, so if this is some area I really want it to look very, very bright, I put first white. Yes, it can also work on top. So let's say I put first yellow and then on top white or the opposite, I prepare a bit the uh, yes, and then, uh, then my yellow looks brighter. Yeah, and also don't forget sometimes to check and clean your pastels because it might have some other color yeah, in there. And then let's say, you want to get really the spot very clean, very bright, and then you just didn't notice there are some, let's say here I had some green on my yellow. And then of course it's getting on the way and then I have kind of to, to clean or um, not to. So if it's the, the important moment, then just like take a look on your pastel if it has something. And then easy, I just use the paper and just do some strokes and a separate piece of paper. And um... yeah, so what we see the ears. Ears, of course, are very, very bright, very light. So I can kind of easily go with some white in there and then take a look some light pinkish. Yeah. And then if needed, then. And later, like we can add some also a bit more color. Yeah, so idea is that, let's say we're starting shadows and main lights, because as we spoke, yeah, so we try to keep this, this still effect of real, not that we're doing some reverse filter or something. And then it will be easier. So the spaces that are left, then you are free to fill up with other different colors uh, that already more like which color comes into your mind, taste and... Yeah, also remember mixing is nice. Yes, in, in between the old pastels. Yeah, so here for example, the, the mouth, I went a bit classic. Yeah, some orange yellow. And, and I think it's you can see it's a bit maybe it's tongue there showing on the side. Even if it's not, we can add it. As if it is. What, what is the quantity of oil sticks that you have, guys, on, on your set? Well, quite a range of um, these sort of just sticks like that. So I've got a pack of, um, <coughs> I've got two packs here, I've got one pack of 50. 
and a pack of 24 sort of various oh, colors. So. Okay, Darren, Darren is set. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've, I've got 48 and the and the um uh, and the metallics, which is I think 12. Cool, yes. Let's um like 48, 50, that's kind of the comfortable um you know uh, amount to work because when it's less it gets harder so very very good um, yeah i saw i glimpsed a male walking <laughs> yeah she's just got back so yeah <laughs> uh, yes haven't seen well maybe um yeah when autumn comes then <laughs> yeah i'm sure she'll be a Back then. <laughs> yeah, now summer is also summer should be used also to expand and out definitely. So okay, so where is the other light areas I met? Yeah, so here for example also interesting about the eyes. Yeah, since eyes is one of the of course focus points, then let's say if I make uh, my eye dark, yeah, and also feel free, you know, don't be scared to make a bit bigger this darker area of eye. But then there on top, I'm seeing this uh, very bright orange color. So, and again, maybe I will need a bit white on the bottom if my blue Yes, uh, so when preparing the, the paper for oil pastels, um, I mean, of course, it's, it's easier to, to paint when it's colored because otherwise the, you don't, then you don't have to worry to fill each, each dot of paper and you can have some this blue, you know, uh, or, or the color of paper showing through. But <clears throat> when experimented, then when I paint a bit too dark, then I find it a bit harder to paint. Then I need to use more like white as the base when I want to put some, some light yeah, areas. Um, so let's say like if I do blue, I would just add a bit more white gouache. Have you covered it with gouache, guys? Or you yeah. Did? Uh -huh. yeah I, I use gouache. Nice. I used acrylics. Ah, and how it is in acrylics? Well, I, I thinned it right down so that it was really watery. Oh, it's absolutely fine. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I haven't experimented with acrylics because I think gouache gives very nice this matte uh, surface. And um, but next time I'll experiment with acrylics because acrylics, I think they when they dry, let's say they're more like it's plastic. I can show you what it looks like. Yes, of course. So, um, uh -huh. here it comes from Karen. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I already have a glimpse of Karen's giraffe. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, it's very nice. Like you've used very light. Yeah. Uh, blue is good. I like it. Yes, yes, yes. So it's not very dark. And also, it's not a kind of solid color. It, it's uh, got some white in it as well, so where it just, you know, fades mm -hmm. in and out. Yeah, yes. Yeah, but very, very cool, actually. I will also try to experiment more on, on this, like preparing paper. And yeah, cool giraffe. Let's, let's keep, on, keep on working. Yeah, so after the shade, here now I'm playing with, um, with the light areas. Um, so I did the ears, I did the spots above the eye. Yeah, so these ones I'd say would be so, like where the main shadow meets the main light. Yeah, there we should also kind of put more effort, more focus, uh, like don't skip these, these areas. 
Then of course, very, very bright birdie. Yes, and then I'm also, I will put a bit white first. Then I will check if my yellow is clean and then do so. Then I have very clean, bright birdie there. Yeah, so, and then maybe some orangey at the bottom of the body of the birdie, yeah. So it's also, for example, sometimes when we put some dark spots, um, we shouldn't put them like very separate. Yes, we should then uh, like the area around also work a bit, let's say maybe with some brownish or some other a bit darker tones. So then a bit slowly connecting. Uh, so let's say if I, I'm painting a nose of animal. Yes, yeah? so let's say not, not the giraffe, but like the bear, it has a round dark nose. So, and then let's say there is light on his face and then I paint kind of light brown, but, but and then it will be looking too artificial to be looking like the dark nose is kind of just glued separately, you know? So then I also, when, when I put a dark spot, so it, I'm just remembering because I saw it on, on your current, yeah, so the eye, yeah, it, it, it's good, it's still in the process, but then you have to integrate the eye uh, to, to the other. So at my place, now it's also looks, yeah, just the spot. But then I'll be, okay, from, of course, from the side, from the shadow, I'll be putting a bit more dark. And yeah? so then it, it's not like separate, but it goes, it has this transition. Let's say, and so in the, in the example of bear, then I would paint dark the nose and go with darker brown around it, like, uh, and then slowly going to the light part of face, if it's if there is light in the... So. So there is also like a light. Uh, I would maybe mark this part of the back. So um, yeah, this like this very orange hairs. Yeah, so um, this is also kind of very nice area, like it's bright. Uh, so I for, first I put orange there and then later we see experiment, maybe then it turns out into some other colors. Mm -hmm. Yes, and after that, like, I don't know, if someone is already like a bit more upfront, so um, let's say after you've set up all these main basic elements where the base shadow is, the base light, some important parts, then already one can start kind of, yeah, messing around a bit with the um, with different colors. Then I can already take some unexpected color, maybe, uh, yeah, so somewhere green, maybe somewhere brighter red or uh, and then just see which one is matching which one looks good or yeah which color are you in the mood for today i remember when i work in um, architecture offices and then it was the task, you know, sometimes like drawing something there and then you need to choose the color. And I remember I was often choosing the color, like what I was wearing today. So it was like, 
my choice, you know. So <laughs> it's like because one day you're in the mood for, I don't know, um, something. And, and yeah, so I was started already slowly kind of messing around. It's also the chance experiment with some colors that maybe you didn't use much from your big set. So for example, here I have some dark rose and I'm putting it inside the shadow of the face and the neck. Yeah, because it, then it's, it's dark, but it's already some, some different tone and uh, looks a bit also purplish. Yeah, maybe it's good to mark one of the spots um, of the... Yeah, and I think last time we went with all pastels, we also talked about it, that let's say you can find, so I have this, as I mentioned, dark rose, and next to it, there is um, rose gray. And then it's also, I can find the pair of, let's say violet. Yeah, and one is dark and one is light. And like in, in the blues, of course, there are even more combinations in grays are, remember, there was also like light and dark. And then it's kind of very tricky exactly for using shadow and light parts. So if I need gray, then for the shadow part, I will use the dark one. And because in the lights ones, they have kind of white in a bit. So let's say if I use now this rose gray, then it's really nice for maybe some areas that where the light is. But if I put it to the shadow, well, it depends also, you know, how you put it, if you put it mixing or light, but sometimes then it can create the light areas in the shadow that this is exactly what I'm kind of always repeating not to, yeah, not to get mixed and, uh, yeah. But also like, no worries if you get, yeah, because with oil pastels as we talked, it's very easy to, to change. So. Yeah, and um, I don't know, my, my process of work is a bit jumping. So I said I take one color, I use it, and maybe I use it in one corner of giraffe, then I get noticed, ah, maybe this color also a few spots on the other side. So in the end, it's more like collecting a puzzle. Uh, it's, um, okay, let's go for some green. Since I was promoting green so much. I don't know, green gives kind of some, some balance or something in all this story. Yeah, especially these, uh, the olive, olive green or this, um, this, this calm one. Oh, but maybe you think of something very expressive, crazy, like shh. If needed, don't forget to go back to the say dark spots and add yeah, the black. So if the accent of your eyes, yeah, sometimes it, it can be maybe gone. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's normal to come back and 
we reaffirm the, the contrast parts. Yeah, and I'm still not getting to the spot. I'm <laughs> waiting for inspiration to to fall on <laughs> from the from the sky and I think of something in there. Yeah, maybe you prefer the other way. Maybe you prefer not collecting uh, the drawing is the puzzle, but let's say <laughs> you can color lightly, like hardly touching maybe the whole face. And then there inside you do some um, more detailing. Yeah, so instead kind of going part of part, it's, um, Yeah, and then really also try to differentiate a bit this touching. Uh, so some areas I touch harder and then the material on my paper looks so more, um, yeah, it covers almost all the paper. Yeah, and some areas then I leave this hardly like, so there is more transparent. So there is more blue paper coming through. But yeah, if you do all with the, the same light touch, then it will all, all look a bit, a bit the same. Yeah, so, but then also this, uh, how, how um, hard you press. Um, I'm very excited to see how some, some of this, uh, the metallic, Earth will work out. Because mm -hmm. I saw there is also some like blues inside. So not yeah. only the, yeah, the silver and gold and bronze, but um, yeah, 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 I'm definitely checking out the <laughs> UK page. Uh, also in your big boxes, there definitely should be also this neutral sticks. Yes, and if you try to paint with them, they don't really, they don't leave color, but they're very good. So instead of using your finger, then you can um, blend with them. Yeah, and then again, so it doesn't have to be everywhere we differentiate, yeah? Some areas we blend more nicely together and some areas uh, stick a bit more. All right, it's time to get decided on the spots. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Yeah, but still it's like the spots should be darker and the inside should be lighter. So, guys, do you have ideas? What, what's your approach for? So here music would be like purple, blue. And it was a play, of course, for. Mm -hmm. yeah. Someone, somewhere also you can use like a line. Yes, is a part of technique. So somewhere you kind of press a bit harder and draw a contour line that can also be.
I know I say this every Saturday afternoon, but my cat has the loudest snore. <laughs> and he sat, sits under the table when I'm here doing this and just snores his little head off. Well, bless him. <laughs> it's temptation to come. <laughs> like, oh, I'm just resting here, snoring. <laughs> I, I cannot hear, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just as well. You had to wonder what was wrong with me if you could hear him. <laughs> oh, that's strange. I like the light colour metallics. Mm -hmm. Interesting, interesting. Yes, 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 Karen, feel free to comment. How, how it goes for them. How it goes with you, Darren, Ratsis? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm trying to sort of mix, for, for the spots, I'm trying to sort of mixture sort of purples, purpley blues, lilacs, that sort of thing. So uh, mm -hmm. I'm actually quite pleased with how it's coming out there, actually. Cool. Yeah. Looking quite nice, I think. Yeah, also, also this dark red. Also, it's good inside because, I mean, when we mix blue and red, we get purple. So getting somewhere a bit those reddish accents then gives a bit like the brightness. So it's, let's say maybe it, it you know, it stays, um, helps to stay dark. But then also a bit more. Um, and also don't forget that you can change also direction. So just move, turn your hand a bit around and then you might, you know, kind of get the lines of your pastels a bit different movement. So then they're not all vertical because you like, we have one position that we are comfortable to, uh, to hold, but then if on purpose, you just kind of, let's say I can put my hand almost like from the top and started moving, then I'll be getting the different areas. <laughs> they are also really, really lovely pastels. They're so mm. soft. <laughs> yes, this Senelier, those pastels, they're like, <laughs> you can't compare, it's like heaven. Yeah. Um, it's almost impossible to get like the big set because they sell like they sell also by pieces because they're extremely expensive. And, but yes, this is exactly what makes them. They're extremely soft. So uh, what you get on the paper is like butter. Mm, exactly. This is the, the more. Yes. And then some oil pastels are really hard. Yeah, so especially if you buy, let's say, these children ones. Then, yes, this is <laughs> where you get. Uh... Also, maybe mixing blue and green can also maybe get some interesting, like for, for some spots. Yeah, so since we like now, let's say, Talking a bit more on darker parts, and then, then purple, blue, red, and some other can be the the green, blue. Yeah, so here, of course, is useful to remember, like the. As for example, maybe not mix blue with orange, then of course we we'll get something brownish. Yeah, but so just remember that the ones that are good being mixed.
Yes, and then probably also, so you could have chosen like different color for the spots. Um, then it again comes the game of the contrast. Yeah, so then um, we put something very light um, on the body. So yeah, and then again, it can be not definitely. It has to be exactly the the orange. So in some car parts, of course, can be orange, but then it also can be some pinkish a bit. Yeah, and. Uh, I've just gone mad. <laughs> That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. <laughs> okay. That's, um, yeah. Go for it. <laughs> yeah. My spots have all just disappeared. I like it then. <laughs> so, in light areas, it's also, let's say, yellow and pink those are the ones who are mixing nicely uh, um, then we get this always peachy but definitely excited to see what karen got in there huh? This is this is to be you know in the process like So I'm using this emerald. Very nice, also. For the bushes, I was actually using also gold because I found out I have like gold and silver in this set that I have. And yeah, gold with green looks very nicely. So I can also consider this for, um, for the bushes area. Now my neck doesn't look anything like my head and I'm just a bit like, hmm. Yeah, I'm going to take a photograph and, and I need some advice. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Let's see. Oops, and I got pastels all over my hands. <laughs> um, on the border of the back, here I also do also these strokes, let's say as if it's this uh, fur, uh, so like short strokes, which I think also looks a bit effective, a bit more in life. I've sent over a pic. Uh, I didn't get it but yet. Did I not send it? I might not have sent it. Try again. Because yeah, I'm uh, keeping eyes yeah, on, on, on the phone. And... There you go. This time I sent it. Yes. Uh huh. So we got a 
blue head uh, giraffe with a pink neck. Yes. This could be very uh, emotional <laughs> or expressive. But I really love this pinky, how it matches the background. Huh? The, yeah. The bottom of your pink neck. So actually, maybe you can leave it. The end part of the neck, you can leave also this way. Because yeah. it's so nice, this soft pinkish with the soft bluish around. And then you just might work let's say a bit on um, yeah, the, the, the other part. Um, here, I think you would have to decide, Karen, if you want to connect head and the neck. Yeah, yes. I do. So what we were talking, so here actually could nice, so you move a little bit of pinkish hair up and yeah. then you could move also a bit of bluish or purplish down. So yeah. It's kind of, like go back to this line of shadow, for example, that also doesn't have to be like very this strict line, can also be kind of go blending out. Because yeah? if then you say, I decide to leave this very light part, yeah, as it is, because I find it very, uh, very nice. Maybe then just kind of connect just exactly here a bit. So a bit pinky here, a bit bluish here. And then slowly just melt out because uh, then it will be also a bit in technique you've, you've started. Um, I was very carefully doing all the squares and then I just put my fingers in it and it, it all just, <laughs> I just pulled it all down and it just felt so nice. And look how nice it, it turned out. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, different. So, yeah, try just to connect. Yeah. And then we so can actually move to the bushes yeah and then you'll be, you'll have more clear idea like what should you do to um a bit more huh? yeah um maybe like when you move to when you connect uh, the head and the neck and then this idea of melting down you can use also kind of some spots yeah so, so in this case in. we integrate a few spots but again not like I have here that all of spots, so here will be no spots, and maybe just here, like one, two, three, yeah, just... and the seat, and and the and they can be also maybe dark pink with a bit purplish, let's say, yeah. So they they are yeah. not really uh, the contrasting; they can be actually, but very cool. This is what I was talking about. That from <laughs> there should some uh, other idea of. Um, very cool. Now I <laughs> don't like my giraffe anymore. <laughs> Karen. <laughs> I think oh, my giraffe is so, so standard. When he meets your giraffe, then <laughs> <laughs> my one will be jealous, be like, oh, oh you're pretty. <laughs> <laughs> This is really cool when uh, how to compare and um, these processes and how. Um, so, for example, let's say if Darren, you have more similar to me that you have those separate spots. What I also find nice that then work a bit on um, contour. So, for example, now I compare. So the, the drawing of the previous and now, now here a bit like, yeah, um, you co I color it in between, I color it spots, but here, then I did a little bit of outline and sometimes it's even a bit different color. So here I have like blue spot with some brown outline and also maybe not, every, not all the spot is outlined, but some parts, but then I, I think, it can get a good nice touch. So then just kind of by pressing a bit harder. So for example, I can try it here in some areas. And I'll just send you what I've got at the moment where you can see what it's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, didn't get yet. Didn't get yet. Uh -huh. Here comes the sun. Ah, wow, nice 
nicely, nicely. Uh -huh. Wow. Yay. But very lovely, all those, um, exactly in between, it feels like a movement. It feels like, mm. uh, like this line. So here it goes horizontal. Very nice technique you've uh, invented, you. Aaron. Yeah. So it, it feels like a roadmap or... Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So yeah, don't, like what I was talking about, you don't need... Um, looks very nicely let's move all uh, let's move together to the bushes mm -hmm. yes then um and then of course later everyone uh, can and the bird is very very cool yeah. you see i've got to admit i'm i'm happy with this one but i was for cheetah we did a few weeks ago i don't know what it is but whether it's because we're using parcels instead i don't i don't know but uh for some reason this one seems to have clicked a bit better i think so uh could could be yes the, the reason that um, the pastels now nah? because somehow maybe they just easier or to switch mm. or um, but I, I agree it's also a bit more enjoyable maybe um, possibly yeah yeah or last time was a, sort of a first first time of trying it so second attempts slightly better experience. <laughs> Could be, could be. So, all right. Um, so yes, bushes. This idea that I had, like you, that you try to paint the empty spaces. But also, let's see how it works. Like in this pre-drawing, I tried it, and then I found myself actually closing a lot of them. So not, yeah, but. Um, Let's experiment, yes? So, of course, different greens. Um, so let's say olive green, of course, is nice. And if you have the gold, then it's also kind of very nice matching. Then, of course, kind of one darker green. Or maybe, maybe we can go for dark blue, actually, something. And, um, and here again, you can, so of course, we're doing a bit abstract. And on my pre-drawing, you see it's all a bit, all lines going up. Maybe feels a bit like, like fire, like this direction. Maybe one can do more circular, let's say maybe it's, um, but so again, kind of um, play around, see, see how it's working, see how your hand is moving. Um, and, uh, and then maybe again you get some nice interesting yes then also um, slowly slowly you can then understand how dark you want to make the, the bush um, maybe just really sketchy neutral on the back or um, or as a part of Yeah, and then I use one green, then I go and use another green. Yeah, so maybe it consists like now I, I'm doing here the lines, but maybe actually it can be more covering more just spaces. So. Yeah. And also yellow is always good to, to freshen up. So let's say if you got too, too greenish, too, too messy or too muddy with greenish, then um, since all pastas, they're also of course mixing in between, then adding yellow will always kind of give this freshness and you know, this, this light scent.
Yeah, and then also changing direction again. So I was doing vertical. Now I do maybe move a bit diagonally. Uh, what also don't forget that um, all pastels can be scratched out. So actually maybe it's the bushes is actually a good way to remember and experiment this technique. Uh, so I can either, let's say put, maybe I put yeah, some, some yellow and then I put on top some greenish. And then when I, I'll be scratching, let's say with a palette knife, then I can have like some yeah, layer under it. But then either you scratch till the back till the blue. Yeah, so also like since we have these interesting shapes of bushes can experiment with them. Yeah, scratching all pastels can be can be scratched. Then you get, uh, and then, and this is actually the nice way to get these thin lines. Like we talked that, uh, for some, uh, it's hard yeah, to get very detailed line. And then uh, this can be the technique that I just color all the spot with the color that is around, and then I scratch, and then I get the. Um, And doing the clouds, I found the most part of, um, I don't know, somehow putting this white and then blending out with um, the clouds or becoming very, very nice. And then again, so here I, I played like just with the covering the area. And then again, doing somewhere outlines. So just um, now exactly actually going with these worms <laughs> that I often say don't paint the worm. But here it's actually the like, it's contour lines. And again, some areas can be blended nicely. Maybe some, where is this the emerald? Some bluish, maybe some bluish will look interesting. And if I add a bit bluish, then it at once looks a bit more cold also. So, and the clouds is very nice, especially because of course we have our paper prepared and then it's basically just white and then you go with light uh, blue. Yeah, here I have one like, it's 
very pale. The name is it's actually pale green. Well, to me it looks pale blue, but um, but anyway, so we'll just take the sky. Um, here is pale blue, yeah. So just to uh, then it helps to blend out the borders of um, of uh, clouds. And then you can also use, so either you can use your finger if you're not, uh, yeah, but check also that your fingers are clean because then <laughs> you might also get your cloud dirty. Uh, or then you can use, um, you no, know, kind of just to blend it to, to have it more. Um, so this, uh, usually when you buy some sets, they have this paper thing like this, this conus one, it's used, you know, for blending pencil. So for those who do the pencil drawings, but what works also nicely, like instead of getting, yeah, or you can try any other something. Um, yeah, and for the clouds, let's say really, move around your um, your hand. So not the classical, not only the classical position, but also then I put my hand up and so then I can get. But also it can be the, your wish that all the, the clouds, they're kind of flying or facing one direction. So maybe it's so the feeling of wind or yeah so i do white and then i do the borders with light uh, blue and then if needed i go again with some white on top um, and then maybe I try to blend a bit Oh, but clouds also, you, if you don't want, you don't, yeah. Um, but I find they kind of give sweet <laughs> feeling to our giraffe. Karen, feel free to send if you're, you're um, yeah, because I'm, I'm right now thinking how, how it's turning out the neck and. Uh -huh. Okay, <gasps> and it's with bushes. Yay! Wow, I would say the bushes is really top. You don't even have to um, touch. No more touches because it looks very loving the bushes. Yes, totally, totally. I wow. I think we we should change, guys, and, and <laughs> you know, Karen, you should teach. And I. Uh... No, I really don't think so. But to look at your bushes, I, uh, yeah, amazingly, very, uh, these, these lines and, and the color is cool. Mm -hmm 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 -hmm. So the neck, huh, look, like looks very nice. Then uh, it's, yeah, the, the face and the neck, they got very, very, very cool, this purplish. Yeah, I need to um, blend that mid region a bit more, but actually it's so soft that I can just drag it down a bit. I don't <laughs> want to bring the colors too much together. She says doing it. Yeah. Oh, that's just good um do, 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 do. maybe i don't know if if you manage to do a bit of prolong a bit the grass and go a bit on top of the neck so like maybe in the in this area so yeah. i don't know like maybe a bit across mm -hmm. then maybe it should then look but it depends so now it looks giraffe is in front of the bushes yeah so if you prolong and bring bush is a bit on top giraffe then he'll be of course like 
showing off from the bushes. Yeah. yeah. Then kind of we trick a bit this ending with the blue. So then um, yeah, let's say we just say, okay, the bushes and the neck is coming out. Yeah, and then yeah. yeah, understand. I also want to put in some um, squares and I'm very spots, whatever they call them. I'm very tempted to use one of these. Yeah, maybe one of the metallic can be good for spots. So I don't know if yeah. it's some orange or if there is some um, brown, like. Yeah. yeah, I've got a ready kind of color, which is a bit darker or maybe a coppery color. Mm -hmm. Or even take it the other way. Oh, I've, oh, I've got blue. <laughs> oh. I guess really rather weirdly a black, but I ain't gonna use that one. But I really like your your drawing currents. It's very you like my very much, yes. And and swap. <laughs> uh we always like what better what's on the grass is always greener on the other side of the well, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> yeah, bro. <probably so. laughs> and what the same I can say about the, the lines, the roadmap of of Darren, I'm, I'm tempted to um, to get this a bit also maybe around my giraffe because <laughs> I was thinking of something new couldn't think of and yeah I just had to wait till Darren sends the <laughs> his artwork. Finish my clouds and then can walk on. Yeah, so the clouds, again, guys, feel free to invent your technique and we can see like we're using all pastels, but we all get um, such a different. Yeah, works. What do you use? What does one use to seal oil pastels? Because this will need sealing. Mm -hmm. Hairspray. <laughs> Hairspray. Yes, Hairspray. exactly. So you can buy either this expensive from the art shop or just one pound um, hairspray, the cheapest one. And yeah. So, or, or let's say, as you, if you keep, like if you put it in a frame under glass, then and then it's also probably maybe doesn't need. Um, actually, like for example, the drawings I keep, um, I just put them in this transparent uh, this folder. So I do. <laughs> yeah, and then just they sit there. So because, but maybe like if you pretend this drawing to last longer, then maybe it makes sense to to spray it, of course. But, um, I have hairspray. I think this because these pastels are so soft, mm. I think it, it will need to be something to fix it. I'll try yeah, some yeah, hairspray. Yeah. Definitely no, yeah, but Sinolia, they are very nice battery. I was going, Darren. Are you ready to send the, the I'm update? I'm just doing it now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I want a bit. The clouds were, I was happy with the clouds, but sort of five minutes ago, I just went a bit too far of them, but I'm, I'm leaving it like, like that. <laughs> Aww. But I'm, ha I'm, I'm happy with that today. I'm really happy with my picture today. That's I'm really, really cool. very happy with you guys. I feel like I want to have your drawings. <laughs> <laughs> Love how you decided, yes, that your clouds going to be horizontal. Yeah. Actually plays very good with the... Um, like straight line of giraffe, then it's kind of um, uh, uh, pointing, let's say, also mm. at him. Um, bushes are nice. Also, very good job of, of the bush behind. Um, again, yes. So, 
like we discussed with Karen. If you want, you can like put the bushes maybe a bit on top of giraffe, mm -hmm. kind of connect. But okay, yeah, then it's like with your decision. So then let's say if we want the feeling that uh, giraffe is in the bushes, he's coming through, or yeah, our bushes is just the background and it's kind yeah. of, you know. But, and also actually very cool how the bushes are connected with them. So you, you have like also this green on the face of giraffe. Mm -hmm. and um, connects nicely because I follow this line of the your longer bush and then very naturally it, it goes to thank you the face no oh, guys <laughs> maybe it's because we, we did a long break of not painting so <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you you know mist and then all the energy is coming out yeah, yeah. Awesome. So what, what we are painting next time? It's, it's, um, if, if there are some... I can send you some more of the safari ones. I got a photograph of a heron I took last weekend with a fish in its mouth, which is not as sharp as the image, that, uh, um, but uh, I've got some nice comments on on facebook to do about one um i'll check i'll check your facebook so uh and and what material shall we um um i think i think if we do the heron i think possibly i very critical gouache i think that one, that one needs to be painted i think with uh with the uh fish but uh mm -hmm. really it's up to you is is to what photograph what image you want to choose in there Okay, yeah, let's uh, make, make a best choice that way. Uh, what, what are your thoughts, Karen, if you have some? Um, I'm easy. Uh, I don't have any gouache, so, but you know, whatever, if you're using gouache, I'll just use acrylics. Um, loving using what? pastels, quite happy to use pastels again on whatever. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm easy. <laughs> cool. I thought I would quite like to um, look at some of your pictures you took on holiday we were gonna because they just were amazing some of your pictures um you, you mean mine yes yours yeah um i'm i'll, I'll check i'm not that but i'll just show you so it was so hard i went out painting but it's impossible <laughs> because uh, the heat and then in the evening you just like, go through it but i did two postcards that actually already sent out. I found very nice, like this little block in the shop that so it's like prepared postcard, mm -hmm. but then you have a space to paint on it. But the back side is like where you put the stamp and you write the yeah. address, so kind of very convenient. So I did, I'll send now in the chat. Um, and and these two uh, postcards that I sent now I did it with those watercolor markers mm -hmm. so the ones that can be diluted uh, we, we've used once now haven't we I think or so. I like the um coastal one and that that's what the photograph i was thinking of that you sent was of the coast oh yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. i like both of them actually they're both nice i took let me see if i can find it something when i was on holiday mm. right my giraffe is yeah no <laughs> after seeing your works of you guys <laughs> The is not mm. ah, Yay. White boat, boat looks nice. The sand also could be interesting to mm, that's nice, imp yeah. Improvisation, how to show this. Uh, I'm just sending you. I'm just sending you one of the heron photographs from last week. So, uh, 
Whoa, that's amazing, amazing picture. I can't imagine how Darren's doing this. Just no. literally. Just being in the right place at the right time and a lot of patience. <laughs> but it means you are there and then comes this moment and you have to be. Yeah. Well, right, guys, yeah. I'm going to shoot off and if we're finished. So uh, I'll see you all next week. Yeah, next week. We, we chat and we decide. And yeah, well, amazing work today. Oh, thank very, you. very, very happy. The roadmap is a cool idea. I'll, I'll <laughs> thank <be>. you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Great, sir. Yeah, okay. See, see you all soon. Take care. Hi, Tomel. Woody. Take care. Bye bye. Um, I've not gone because I'm doing the sky. I'm playing now. Yes, of course, of course. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll stick. I'll stick a bit as well. Maybe I managed to improve something on my giraffe. I might actually have a crack at that. Some picture. That picture I've taken there is Saint Michael's Mount. Mm -hmm. um, tell me, yeah, tell me more about this uh, this place or. Um... So the beach is Marazion, and it's down. It, it, I took it when I was down on uh, doing my art class. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I'd be, I actually went in for a swim that night. It was really, really lovely. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so that's St Michael's Mount. No, it's, it's kind of really famous mm -hmm. down this way, but. It's just an island out in the, actually, so in the, in the English Channel. Yeah. I like my sky too, kind of. Wow, ah. today we are booming, eh? We are, aren't we? I'm not sure about me, a giraffe. <laughs> I'm just, I actually have one of those pencil blender things. Let me go and find it. Sure, Yes, using the finger is uh, <laughs> also good. Good way. I like using my finger, but if it's really fine detail, my fingers are too fat. Yeah, no, the the, the finger is good exactly for this uh, blending. But of course, you can't get where the eye is, or yeah, it's. Um, I've also discovered, and I don't know whether it's because I'm using, I've got acrylics painted here that uh -huh. I can um, rub out on it. So if I, if where, where I've been messy and got pastel all over the place, I was able to just rub it out. Uh -huh. Interesting, interesting. That could be maybe the, the acrylic reason. Yes, that's yeah. definitely worth exploring. I didn't expect to be able to rub it out.
your, your giraffe reminds me someone like there was a cartoon or something but it was also like this misty feeling you know some um yeah wouldn't recall maybe also some more maybe um asian uh, more cartoon it was something also like this misty cloudy figures yeah I think I've also kind of just found something today that that kind of the, the way I've done the bushes, I've never done anything like that before. Mm. And it's just kind of. Your bushes are really, really impressive. I just love it. It's just like, oh, now I've, oh, now I've started doing it on my giraffe. Mm. I think I need to stop. I need to leave it. I need to stop that. Yeah, there, there might be careful because it's mixing with pink. I don't know, yeah, but um, green with pink. Yeah, we might get a bit. Uh, yeah, I need to stop. A bit brown, but um, yeah, the part I'm looking now at that you sent, like, the bushes itself can be just one separate. <laughs> right. Final version coming yeah, your yeah, way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, hey, cool. Mm. No, with the bushes you did, I think, very nice. Yeah, so exactly, you stopped uh, and... Um, so I like also you uh, you scratched a bit the giraffe, yeah. So it's uh, and the purple line, the spots. I like it very much. I like very much your. I, I don't even know or what what to add. And um, uh, but very very artistically, Karen. Very. Uh, I kind of you can't really see it on the photograph, but I've kind of also done the sky in a very similar way to the way I did the bushes. It's just the colors are closer and more subtle, mm -hmm. closer to each other. I was looking at the sky and I was thinking like, so either you put like so much pastel there because it feels like very, uh, you know, that you, you managed to cover lots of space or maybe it was like really. It's really light. Mm. It's just like little squiggles and then I've just blended it together. Um, I used white and blue and I have actually used some of the metallic silver as well. It's probably the light in here. You can't see the metallics in it. But yeah, this kind of looks also very nice. This kind of foggy feeling. Um, very, very cool. No, very nice artwork. I think can Thank definitely you. go to um, no, um, to Etsy selling. <laughs> oh, I might try that. <laughs> well, actually, I mean, for sure, you know, if if you don't put it out, then people wouldn't know. But that's right. Um, I mean, it looks like very unique and very, uh, yeah, gentle and interesting, uh, yeah, perspective of. Yeah. So I mean, the person someone would be happy to buy, and then they put it uh, as a. Uh, yeah, I can see that actually, because it's that um, those, as you said, subtle colors and yes, mm -hmm. pink and pictorial and without being realistic. Yeah. Exactly. It's it's so you you know it's a giraffe, but yeah, you're not trying to be realistic and. The three spots I also like. So also generally, maybe my comment would be, ah, the spots are on one line and they're similar. Yeah. But exactly here, somehow they feel very nice. They feel like it's a bit maybe like a necklace of yeah. giraffe, you know? So it kind yeah. of um that's his style. He's he's this way. And because then let's say when I said, okay, maybe try to do some spots to. As a, as a blending part from yeah, head to neck to the body. And in my head, I imagined, you know, like one spot here, one spot there. But 
yeah, you the way you did it, very matches yeah. matches the whole feeling of um, your painting and gives a nice, nice touch. You know, um, I think exactly if we, they wouldn't be like this one line, if they would be just like a few spots, maybe it would. Um, nah, guys, I'm impressed. I should <laughs> practice more myself painting. <laughs> It's just a it's just a different style, isn't it? I mean, yes, yours is yes, absolutely exactly. stunning, and and it's very much a giraffe. You know, well, it, it is really yeah. beautiful. But you and me, we we end up in the end talking about the same thing. I say yes. I try to go more abstract, <laughs> and I don't. <laughs> I'm trying to learn to be realistic, and you're trying to learn to be abstract. <laughs> or you're we're both we're both we're moving in opposite directions. We we shall meet somewhere. How how? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> probably won't but yeah well thank you so much i've really enjoyed this yeah, afternoon thank really, you really as well from it i'll, I'll, I'll keep your, your drawing as motivation for my next experiment <laughs> me too i'll keep yours <laughs> thank you thanks karen okay I'll, till next I'll week see you next week Yay. take care you too bye. take care karen bye, -bye.